Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I thought I could do a little spend the day with me, um, take you up to the stables and meet someone very exciting. You've probably seen on my Instagram um, by now that we have a new member to the yard. Um, his name's Ronnie. I remember when I was filming this, my first YouTube video for you guys, I was saying I'm sort of in a time at the moment where I didn't have a horse, I was looking for a new horse, didn't know whether I wanted to lease something, buy something. Um, in that time, I was trying to. Um, one called Ronnie and one called Ted. Ted was to buy and Ronnie was to lease. Um, from one of my friends, um, her name is Sarah. Her Instagram is the Chinese dressage girl. Um, she is a client of my trainer, Sarah Higgins. So I was trying both of her horses. Um, and yeah, we've gone with Ronnie, which I'm so excited about because when I got on Ronnie, I just felt like I had a bond with him straight away. He was amazing to ride. Um, I feel like I could sort of work him out and understand him quicker um, than I did with Ted. Ted is such an amazing horse too. He's the, the chestnut. I think I posted a picture on my dressage account of him too. Um, but yeah, I was... I sat on them a few times, properly trying to get a feel of them both. Um, but we decided to go with Ronnie. So I thought it would be a good time to take you up to the stables. You can meet him, you can watch me train um, and yeah, just get to know him. I'm so excited. He's like the best to ride. He's got such an amazing character. He's so cheeky. He settled in so well. Um, he's only been here for about a week now, so it's still really, really early days. Um, I took him out to have a lesson, I think a few days not yesterday, but the day before. So we actually had a day off yesterday. So he could be a bit wild when I bring him out today. Um, but yeah, I thought you could meet him and see what he's like. Ronnie! Hi! <laughs> this is Lenny, my sister's show jumping pony. And this is Jiggy! This is Jigsaw. <laughs> Spot the deliberate mistake. This is Sarah Rao's saddle still. Um, this is a prestige. I rode in this and loved it straight away. Um, so we've got one of these on order in black. Um, but obviously we've still got the black bridle so we're not matching at the moment but <laughs> I'm on the way to sorting it um, but yeah this is killing me for now in all pictures this is my absolute favourite Charles Owen hat I've got quite a few, but this is brown gloss with like a snake print effect, wide peak. Absolutely love wide peak. I think I want to wear like all wide peak now. I just think they're so flattering and so nice. The little rose gold detailing, little crystals, love. <laughs>
I'm just on my way back to the house now. Is there anyone else when you like finish riding? <laughs> you just like don't want to take your hat off, so you get the massive like hat line. So just walking back to the house in my riding hat <laughs> and my riding boots. Um, but yeah, that was quite a good ride. He, he wasn't actually, I thought he was going to be really fresh because um, I said he had a day off yes, yesterday um, after our lesson, but he actually didn't feel too bad. Um, so yeah, I was quite happy with him. He's now having a chill in the gravel. I will come back to the house. I might do a little unboxing for you guys. I went to Selfridges, I think well, it was the other day, um, and got a few bits for like holiday and stuff like that coming up. Um, and have been sent a few like PR packages and stuff like that. So I thought I could do a little unboxing. Um, and then I'll head back up to the yard later when my sister comes back from school and help her with her horses. <laughs> Check on Ronnie, make sure he's all fine. So I'll take you up with me again. Um, but yeah, I think I'm just gonna have some breakfast now. Make myself a bagel because a bagel is the most elite breakfast ever. With a little bit of peanut butter, or just butter actually. Um, and maybe like a banana smoothie, but I say it's a banana smoothie, but it's literally, I put banana, ice cream <laughs> and milk so it's kind of like a banana milkshake but it's unreal um so yeah might might make one of them now hi <laughs> hey. oh <laughs> zola oh wow that's not very nice i am just on my way to waitrose um i'm gonna get a few bagels, ice cream and something for tonight. I'm not sure if I'm going to be going out for something sweet tonight but if not um, I'll get I think I fancy like teriyaki salmon or something with rice. I've been making that quite a lot recently um, which I've really been enjoying and then yeah I'm picking my sister up from school, bringing her back home and helping her riding. So being a very helpful big sister. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. Pick up some bits from Waitrose and pick up the sister. Okay, I've had to switch to my phone because this is the camera I had on and I was getting a lot of embarrassment. So I just picked up myself a ham and cheese sandwich. Although I don't really eat ham anymore, so I'm just gonna have to take the ham out and just have it at the cheese. I've got a little bit of a, an oasis. Oh God. Now we're just on the meat section, which stinks. Let's get some salmon, some broccoli. Always go for the tender stem, not the bushy broccoli. I'm gonna get some of this sauce. This is the nicest teriyaki. A few of them. Chuck a pre-made Caesar in there because who doesn't love a Caesar? Well, me actually. I um, I've only started eating salads recently. I never used to like salad as a proper salad dodger, but now my favorite thing ever is a Caesar salad or feta and watermelon. Love a bit of pasta. I'm doing a full on shop here and I wasn't supposed to. This is so nice, this carbonara. But it's just so annoying because it's like got bits of bacon in it already and it's sort of really dodgy bacon so I always pick it out. God, when you crash in. Get some vanilla ice cream for my milkshake and Fraulein and Cream is the best ever. So I'm gonna get one of them. Do also love a Ben and Jerry's, but that's enough. Really late, gotta pick a dress up in five minutes and I'm still in the bloody supermarket. Let's get shit. Bagels. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Do 
just on their way back up to the yard to do the evening checks on the horses. Got all of it rushed. Hi! Because I was a bit late picking Jess up from school, but here are the boys. Oh, Lenny. Hello, Ronald. Hi. Look at my ponies. Jiggy. Oh no, that's Lenny. That's Jiggy. Oh, I'm in it. Say, do you not want to say hi to my oh, vlog? I could never tell if it's on me because look at his coat. Ronald. Don't put me in it. Why not? Because look at me, I've just ridden a horse. You look stylish. Ow. Shall I put his coat on? So I didn't really give you that much of an introduction this morning because he's kind of got into a routine now as soon as he has finished work. He wants to go out in the pen, so I didn't want to upset him, so I just put him out. Um, but now he's in, he's a bit more chilled. <laughs> Stop! Um, I can talk to you a bit more about him whilst bribing him with polos. Um, he's 14, he is um, established at Grand Prix level. Um, he actually has had a colic um, surgery I think it was a few years ago now two three years ago maybe um, obviously with his old well with his owner his old rider um, and he had like 14 foot of his intestine removed so if you notice you might have noticed when I was riding or if I was just videoing him he's kind of got little lumps on his um, like under his belly um, from that surgery but he's recovered amazingly. Um, <laughs> he honestly, he licks so much. I've never met a horse that just wants to lick you more than he does. Um, but yeah, because of his um, colic surgery, he's on all like soaked hay um, and like sloppy sort of like wet food, um, which is fine. I get quite a few um, comments and messages asking what my plans are, when I'm going to go out competing and stuff like that. Um, I think, well as soon as I can really, um, I think I'm going to just get to know him um, a little bit more at home um, before I go out to any like big, big competitions. I have a few little local competitions um, earmarked in these next few weeks which I'd like to go to just mainly for like experience and just getting to know him out in a different environment um, I'm not <clears throat> expecting to go and you know be amazing straight away it's more of just a learning experience these first few local ones um, but yeah I am planning on <laughs> I'm planning on going out with him and um, competing at like PSG into one level um, which is the level that I was riding Sirius at. Um, so I'm quite established at that level. I know the tests, I know all the movements really well. Um, that's a bit of a step down for him. Um, but I think until we've properly sort of, we know each other, um, I think we can save the like the harder movements and exercises just for at home. Um, that's definitely something that I'd like to do though. Maybe the under 25 Grand Prix, something that I'd be aiming for. Can you stop? But for now, um, I, yeah, I think we'll just establish the PSG into one um, and just see what he's like. I mean, the level is, is not an issue for him. It's more just me learning the new harder movements, seeing what he's like in a competition environment. Um, Sarah has said that he can be a little bit spooky, so that might take a little bit of adjusting to, um, you know, dealing what with what he's like what he kind of does um he's obviously a very big horse so if he's feeling a bit nervous or anxious or wants to be a bit spooky then i might have my hands full um but yeah that's that's the plan really just i'm, I'm keen to get out competing um i really miss going and competing i think with this horse i can absolutely do that um 
but I'm also really com competitive as well. So it's like, I want to go out competing and I want to do really well straight away. Um, but I think with him, it's, you know, I've got to be realistic and have the first few sort of training shows. Can you stop? He's just unbuttoned my coat. This is from Holland Cooper, by the way. I'm probably going to get a few questions. It's the one that I wore this morning. I think it did sell out. I think they do have it in black as well, but I'm not sure if Jade's restocked it. I think she, I think she has because it's absolutely beautiful. It's so good for um, this weather as well. It's right to the floor. Um, <laughs> he likes it as well. I'm getting that. Yes, you can. No, I can't. Why not? Just look at me. So? Look at me. See what you even? No, I can see you moving. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> yesterday but then I ran out of time so I just thought I'd do it now. I went to Trafford Centre uh, probably a few days ago now and bought some bits. I've been ordering a few bits for like holiday and things like that and I've been sent a few packages so I just thought I'd show you. So we'll start with I got a few pairs of shoes from LK Bennett um, just to sort of wear you know for like you know daytime going out for lunch um, like smart shoes um so the first i've already worn these ones but i thought these were really cute and i love the little like buckle detail but i thought just with a pair of jeans or like wide leg trousers i thought these would just be like a really nice easy um shoe to to style okay so these next pair when i had a look at them i must admit like i wasn't sure on the website I thought they were great, but I didn't realise that they had like a, a blue sort of edging. I'm not sure if like you can see here, um, but they kind of have like a, a pale blue all the way around, which when I saw them, I was like, mm, I'm not sure about that. I would have preferred just like a, a plain sort of shoe, but then they might look quite nice with jeans. And I'm thinking that I want a, a pair of jeans, you know, just wide leg um, because my jeans are all quite skinny <laughs> which I know I everyone's like oh no one wears skinny jeans anymore but I still do um, but I'm looking for like a, a wide not wide leg but like a straight leg pair of jeans um, and I thought this it might like pick up the blue quite nicely so I'm not sure I'm not sure if I'll get a lot of wear out of them but I think it's worth keeping um, because I might and I've probably gone past the point of sending them back anyway. Um, right, so next pair I've got are these little kitten heel kind of length. Um, what is this, like a croc print? Um, black paint and croc print, got a little gold buckle. Just thought nice, easy, can't really go wrong. Pair of jeans pair of trousers, anything really. Um, so yeah, just thought they were quite easy, quite simple. I don't really have, well, I only actually have, this is my second pair of like kitten heels um, because, well, I don't know. I've never known if I could like pull them off, but I think, cause I'm like five foot two, but I think, you know, for like a lunchtime, daytime look like, office businesswoman look i think they're perfect and um, they're still like smart 
Um, and these are really actually similar to the other ones. I don't know why I got these, but they're kind of, yeah, and they're the same. I think I prefer these actually. They've just got a gold sort of, I don't even know what that is, ring detail, um, a block heel. This is just a nice length. It's the same really. I'd wear them for daytime meetings, that kind of thing. Um, so that's what I've got from LK Bennett. Quite like all of them. So we'll see how much wear I get out of them. Okay, the next thing I bought when I went to Trafford Centre, I love the Tom Ford um, foundation stick. And I was actually speaking to um, one of the ladies that were working there. And she was basically saying that they're like they're discontinuing it. Um, and I was like, oh my God, it's literally my favorite foundation. So I kind of just bought a few. Um, and she said like, they're not sure when they're gonna get like another like replacement or anything similar or, um, which is quite sad. But I got a few, I got my shade, which is seven tawny. And then I think I got two of them. And then I got 7.7 .7 honey. I just thought when I have a bit of a tan, um, this would be perfect. And I kind of was just panic buying, so I just picked up a few. So that's what I got. And she also put in a few um, little perfume testers, which I thought was nice. So I'll give them a go. So I picked up some perfume from Aqua de Parma. I absolutely love this brand. I've got quite a few of the fragrances already. I picked this one up. I think it's called Sandalo. I think I'm saying that right. Um, but it's a really nice sort of deep smell, really unique. I've not smelled anything like it before. Um, but yeah, I thought this is just going to be a really nice one to add to my collection. It's more of like a like a night timey kind of smell. It's quite, as I said, yeah, quite deep um, and quite strong, but I absolutely love this. The packaging's gorgeous as well. Um, and I just think they're just a really unique fragrance. Um, so yeah, very happy with this purchase. Moving on, to, well, to another perfume actually. I got sent this um, Good Girl, which I'm really excited to try. I have had one of the Good Girls before. I think it was their, their classic one. Um, but I think this is their new one, Blush, which um, I will try for you guys now. They did send a gorgeous um, bouquet of flowers as well, which I'll get for you in a minute. But first impressions of this. I just love the bottle. I just think they're so cool. So this is the bottle, it's like a little, obviously, high heel shoe. I actually love this. This is like a floral vanilla, definitely vanilla. It's quite intense, but at the same time, it's quite light because it smells quite flowery. But it's like, it is an intense smell. I'll, they give a little note, an intense, oh yeah, see, I'm not going to be able to read this. A blend of rose, vanilla, and smoky patchouli. <laughs> I think um, I'm not sure if I've said that right. Um, represents all side of a woman: the light, the dark, the sweet, and the naughty. I think it definitely does that. I think, as I said, it is really like an intense smell, but then you can really smell the like the rose and the vanilla, which makes it. You know, I'd probably wear this as like a, a daytime scent personally, just because I like my more as I said, like heavier, oody kind of smells in the night time. But this is like a beautiful sort of summer perfume. Um, I'll definitely be wearing this. So I picked up two things from the Sandro at the Trafford Centre. Um, I got this beautiful sort of top. It's quite different for me because I'm sure you'll all know by now, I don't really go for like patterns or prints. So I thought this was quite out there. Not really, but um, on holiday, I thought in Dubai and Maldives, this would be gorgeous with the matching skirt, which I thought would be really nice. And it's got like a nice little frilly detail at the bottom. Nice length. It looks like, although it's got sleeves, it's kind of like a chilled, loose, airy fabric. So really looking forward to wear that and get a nice picture in it. And then for the second thing I got, I got a beautiful, 
was a very, very long dress. This might actually be a bit too long for me. But this beautiful dress with sort of the cream, um, like pipe in detailing, which I thought was really nice. And it's got like a, a ribbed material. Perfect again for holiday. Um, buttoned all the way down. And yeah, I thought this was a very lovely purchase. Okay, so this first thing I picked up from Revolve was this black blazer and it has like a satin lapel, which I was looking for a blazer. Most of my blazers, to be honest, are quite like fitted um, and double breasted. I wanted something a bit more relaxed and, and not oversized, but not too fitted. Um, something that I can wear day, night. I think this can definitely be worn at night time with, um, with the satin finish. This is by Amanda Up, Up Richard. I got it in an extra small. Um, and I thought it's just a blazer that I get like a lot of wear out of. So very happy with that. So I picked up some jeans. I saw some um, gray jeans on YSL that I really, really liked. The like straight leg jeans. Um, I picked them up in gray. I was just thinking maybe even with that black blazer that I just showed you for like a nighttime look with a little like a bodysuit or something like that. This is where they are from. Um, but yeah, I thought I wanted them a little bit longer because obviously I'm planning on wearing them with heels. But I really like the wash. I think they could look really nice. Hopefully they fit. And then I also got from... Revolve this little top which I thought was so beautiful I love the detailing at the bottom and this is the back I love the love the colour love the rib material love it a little bit cropped and um, this is from that brand I'd rather just show you than um, try and pronounce these myself because I'm probably going to get them wrong and then the last package I got, I got sent from Monday Swimwear, which is very exciting. Um, obviously, just in time for when I go away. So I picked up, if I can get into the box. Right, so I picked up this beautiful, beach bag which I thought holiday Maldives perfect it's got this longer sort of over the shoulder strap which to be honest I, I don't think I'll wear that length I think I'll just have it sort of held like this um but yeah I thought this was just a really nice easy simple beach bag we'll get a lot of wear out of it perfect size can fit just enough in it not too big so it's like breaking your arm um so yeah, this was the first thing that I got. And then I got, I mean, this is probably not gonna do it justice, just me showing it to you in the packaging. But I got this matching sort of skirt. It's kind of got like some crystal detailing in it long maxi skirt gorgeous thick waistband with a matching top i thought this would be perfect for you know like lunch just going down to the pool maybe even like a boat trip something like that with this top it was just beautiful like not that much effort but it looks like you've made an effort so that was the first little cohort set that i got making quite a lot of rubbish here um and then we got i think i just picked up like a sarong because to be honest i don't own a sarong i think this is just a little yeah linen sarong that i just thought can't go wrong um just an easy like throw on just to you know go or go for lunch or something like that um you don't want to put like you know too many clothes work on when you're sweaty and sticky um so yeah just got this little sarong perfect color goes with everything just really easy 
And then for bikinis, I got, oh, I like this. I've been seeing quite a bit of this. Like beautiful, you know, this like little piping detailing, gorgeous gold hardware. Sewing costume. I'm, I really love the look of a sewing costume. I think sometimes it can just look like so beautiful and so flattering. Um, adjustable straps, which is perfect. The knicker line is not too thick, like bucket knicker, like thick, um, but it's not too like thin, thin and up your bum either. So I think this is perfect. I love this. And then I got this gorgeous sort of shiny bronzy copper coppery material um these are the pants so i got these in a i got this in a petite they're the pants and the top i got in a size medium and this is the top really like the detail in this top the like cup detailing again adjustable straps um a little tie gold hardware i think this is just a really nice bikini that with a tan again i think this would just look absolutely beautiful and then to be honest i think i got the same in this color like a champagne color i just really like the style yes yeah, the same top um as i just showed you in this color now, I think these are like thinner bottoms. Them bottoms are a little bit thick for me. I think these are a tiny bit thinner, which, oh yeah, see, they are quite thin. These are the bottoms, which <laughs> we'll have to try these on. Uh, they might be too, but we'll see. Love them, love the color. And hopefully, they will all fit and look really nice but even like these like with that would just look well and any of them all these no there we go this color it's just like an outfit made straight away so easy so nice so that is what i got from monday swim so thank you to them for sending these bits out cannot wait to wear them and that's about it. I think I've shown you everything. Um, I've made a massive mess. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's everything that I got. And I'll be taking most of this on holiday with me. Um, actually, I'll just show you them flowers really quick. Okay, I'm trying not to spill these. But these are the flowers <laughs> that they sent, which I thought was such a nice touch. Beautiful, like, red and pink roses so yeah very happy they smell lovely that's all of my mini haul i think i might end the video here actually i'm gonna have to put these back because they might spill on the car so i think i'm going to leave this video here i hope you've enjoyed seeing kind of what a day in the life looks like um, hope you've liked everything that I've shown you from my little haul and I'm going to be vlogging again next week I'm going to Cheltenham races with Holland Cooper so that's going to be really exciting it's my first time there staying in the gorgeous 131 hotel so yeah I'll be vlogging that taking you along with me um, so that should be really fun but hope you guys are all well and see you in my next video